Dr. Ted Naiman, Reverse Insulin Resistance Rapidly Before Losing Weight, from Low Carb Down Under, Breckenridge, 2017. If you've got up in the top right-hand corner, 30% of deaths to toxic, kinetic, microbial, genetic. But down in this giant 70% of all deaths, you've got chronic disease. And of course, the big three, cancer, cardiovascular disease, and chronic neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. Um, what we know about all this chronic disease is that it's driven by sedentation and malnutrition. This is poor diet and lack of exercise. And underpinning all of this stuff is insulin resistance. And that is why this is such a huge, big top. I use Home IR a lot in my patients these days. This is homeostatic model assessment of insulin resistance. This is my favorite way to non-invasive measure insulin resistance in my patients. This is something you'll see most commonly in the medical literature when people are looking at insulin resistance. It's really just your fasting glucose times your fasting insulin divided by 405. And it's answering the question, how much insulin does it take when I'm fasting to hold my blood sugar and my fat stores where they're at right now? Um, average in this country is 1.75. That's really a little too high. You want to be at 1.0 or lower. Anything over about two and a half is clearly insulin resistance. You want to be 1.0 or lower on the HOMA IR score. If you're over 2.5, you're insulin resistant. Um, you could just search the medical literature for HOMA IR and any chronic disease you can think of, and it's just a huge linear association. Um, HOMA IR and cardiovascular disease, huge linear association. Um, dying of heart attacks, huge association. Um, cancer, huge association. All forms of cancer, huge association. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, Alzheimer's pathology, massive association with insulin resistance. And finally, just dying. All-cause mortality and home IR, a big association there, too. So this is a really important topic. Okay, so now, what causes insulin resistance? Well, we've known forever that the more abdominal fat you have, the more insulin resistant you are. This graph on the right shows insulin levels. You've got normal in green, obese in yellow, and abdominal obesity in red. So we've known that for a long time. But what about this? Here's a graph of insulin sensitivity versus body mass index. And how do you explain these people way down here? They've got a BMI less than 20, but their insulin sensitivity is terrible. I mean, what's going on here, right? Well, we've known for over 50 years that the larger your adipocytes, the more insulin resistant you are, right? And in fact, it's a perfectly linear association. Your adipocytes can expand in diameter about 20 times. So if you do look at a cross-section of adipocytes in our microscope, they can go from maybe 10, 20 microns to 200 microns. Um, that means their volume can expand by 8,000 times. And as they get bigger, they get more insulin resistant. And it's very, very linear. Um, it turns out that large adipocytes are resistant to the antilipolytic effects of insulin, and it's harder to shove more fat in there, right? You can graph out. Fasting insulin, HOMA IR, any marker of metabolic syndrome, it's perfectly linear with adipocyte size. Triglycerides go up, HDL goes down, HOMA IR goes up, insulin goes up. Any metabolic syndrome or insulin resistance marker you measure will completely correlate up or down linearly with the size of your adipocytes. If you have gastric bypass surgery and you manage to shrink the size of your adipocytes, you'll reverse insulin resistance and diabetes. If you lose weight with any mechanism, it's more important how much you shrink your adipocytes rather than how much weight you actually lose in terms of reversing insulin resistance. And that's why people can reverse insulin resistance really rapidly even before they lose a whole lot of weight. Dr. Naiman likes to use HOMA IR as a test for how well your insulin is doing. HOMA IR is fasting glucose, times fasting insulin divided by 405. It tells us how much insulin does it take to hold my blood sugar and fat stores steady. You want to be 1.0 or lower on the HOMA IR score. If you're over 2.5, you're insulin resistant. When the HOMA IR is too high, there is a direct association with cardiovascular problems heart attacks, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, mortality.
the adipocytes can expand in diameter about 20 times. For example, they can go from 20 to 200 microns in diameter. The volume expands 8,000 times. As they get bigger, you become more insulin resistant. People can reverse insulin resistance rapidly before losing weight. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.